Donnie, you got me today. I know. You got me. You, was, you did what I do to everybody else. It was too good. You blew up my spot. Too good not to do. I believe Mark Lundsman, one of my college teammates, already said there was probably a ketchup packet in the other hand. <laughs> I, and he's probably right. I think I think it was actually honey mustard today. but It was okay. too good not to. You got me. I like that. I like that. So, okay. OAC events. Coming here, Cedar Point. What do you think of this facility? It's always? awesome. It's yeah. awesome. Definitely. I, I really do. I, I can't wait to see when we get out of this whole COVID thing and how they really can max it out. I mean, you obviously see the size of this place. Can you imagine all the mats they could get in there? I think it's going to be a lot better once we get out of this the whole COVID stuff and can have some normal things. But even for right now, it's amazing. It's, and right in our backyard, it's even, it's even better. How far do you live from here? I live in Berlin Heights, so... Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 okay. Minutes so you're right around here, having a state-of-the-art facility within 10 or 15 minutes. It's awesome. And, you know, and you're tied to the Norwalk St. Paul program. Yes. You guys can have a mega tournament if you guys wanted to. If, you, if that were something in your mind, you could do it. That's the hope, yep. When you look at like how hard these guys work at OAC, these are, this is a well-oiled machine. Best in the business. Being a part of this, what's that been like for you? Oh, OAC? amazing. Just for the, the relationships outside of our area, just the people around the state of Ohio I've, I've actually met that you knew of, but you get to know a lot better. I mean, that's, it's, it's been great. I mean, I've got friends from all over the state of Ohio now, and it's because of the OAC. So St. Paul, that's the program that you are assistant coach for, yeah, right? 19 years. Yep. You better 19 years. I think this is my 19th year. Oh my gosh. Something like that, 18th or 19th, yep. What's it like, because you know, Jared is with Sandusky St. Mary's Central Catholic, St. Paul's a private school. Right? Yeah, it's it's awesome. It, it's smaller. You don't have the numbers, but you have the families, the the, the constant family. Obviously, the Grosses. You know, they that that's the main name that you, you think of. That, and Jesse's our head coach now. Jesse was a three-time state qualifier, um, graduated in '14 from St. Paul, went on to wrestle at Mount Union. Uh, he came back two years ago to take the program over. Uh, obviously, everybody knows Derek. Derek was our first four-time state placer at St. Paul. And then uh, we have another one that's uh, in high school. Uh, he had an injury this year. He's out. And then uh, Raphael is a sixth grader, and he's been a, a placer at the OAC grade school events. And he, he's going to be real exciting to watch in the future. And then it, it's, it's great. I mean, it's like I said, the numbers are smaller, but it's family. You have the same kids coming over and over. And that's what makes it that's, – that's why I keep coming back, to be honest with you. Whether it's an OAC event or St. Paul – coaching ultimately what do you think kids should get out of the sport of wrestling oh belief in yourself i, I really it, to me it, to co with coaching wrestling it's more than just about a win or a loss it's what a kid can get max out of themselves from start to finish when i started this sport i wasn't very good i worked at it i got a lot better it's very synonymous with life and if, if you can if you can get over humps in wrestling, you can do anything in life. And that that to me it's that, that message and, and that's why I continue to coach. It's not about a win or a loss. Because that's a short part of their life. The lessons they carry on down the road, that's wrestling. I mean I I don't even know how to end an interview with a great that's great. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. Our one of our partners is behind you. BA, you're wearing it. Yes. Good gear. Yes, good gear. All right. You Good like gear. it? Yes. OAC's it. been rolling OAC, with it. I, I know a lot of high schools around us, they use them. They're very happy with them. The Sassies are great people. They've been a great partner with Ohio Athletic Committee. So get your barbarian gear. All right. You're a funny guy. You're a joker. You're always messing with me. <laughs> you got anything else for me? I mean, you, you want to throw it out there. You know my family pretty well. You want to throw anything out there, else out there at me? Great, great. It's a legacy. In Oak Harbor, I've always had an admiration for Old Carver wrestling, you know, the Miller family. I, I know your brother Chad from when he was at Woodmore, uh, you know, coaching, what, 10, 12 years ago. Um, great guy, you know, just a great family. The Miller name is synonymous with wrestling in Northwest Ohio, and you're the hardest working man in wrestling. Uh, who occasionally takes a break. And eats a corn dog. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a pulled pork sandwich that they made upon request with cheese on how did you get that i was stuck I rolled with up on it it set it on the thing oh. i said hey can i there's no pulled porks can i get one? Oh, we make those custom 
You're the only one that Dude, got that privilege. Dude, the chef was back there, and he's like, you want cheese on it? And I was like, <laughs> yes. does a bear go to the bathroom in the woods? And he was like, it sure does. And You're the only one that would get that. Just telling you. Well, ask and you shall receive. You That's should right. know that. Okay? But I will say, man, you are a, a huge attribute to the sport of wrestling all around, not just in Ohio. And I, I love it. Just, I mean, you, you get the communication out there. And if it weren't for you... A lot of people wouldn't know what was going on, so keep on keeping on, Zeb. You didn't have to be nice about it. You could have just oh, been like, guy, oh, you got a bad haircut, you spit when you talk. That's The that Indians aren't though. the Indians anymore. Oh, you know, nice. you could have done that, right? Right? Keep but that's that how it is. Forever. All right, you got people to go to towel to move off the floor. You got, I anything? Do. You got anything else for me? Nope. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. What do you got? Oh. Ooh, let's plug it. Let's plug it. You already gave them a good plug. You get one of those. The Barbarian Hour, sir. You Jared got a hollow. Great podcast. He's the man, along okay. with Zeb. All right, and you get you get these two. More of these? Oh, these are new ones. I didn't get Let's these. See that? Last there you time. go. Let's see it. Show me. Right Show here. Show me those. Right there. That's it. All right, get back to work. Thanks for the time. Thanks for all the compliments. Yeah. Too. I feel good about You're myself. The man, Zeb. All right.